the uh, principle of Kaizen, K-I-E-Z-E-N. You ever hear that term, Kaizen? No. Kaizen is a Japanese term. It means constant and never-ending improvement by using little steps. You know, whenever we want to make changes in something, we always think we've got to make extreme changes or dramatic changes, but it doesn't really work that way. You can make extreme changes and dramatic changes, but you can have just as good benefits, just as, as good effects by making small step-by-step incremental changes. And that's true about everything in life, but it's especially true about health. So when, I, when you start to fall, when our body starts to fall apart, when we're in our 50s or 60s and we start to notice effects, well, you can make dramatic changes, but you can also make little changes. And one of the easiest little changes you can make is by making uh, little changes in the foods that you're eating and in digestive health. In fact, I don't even consider that a little change. That's a big change. Uh, instability in the joints, whether it's the knees or the elbows or the hips, usually means some kind of inflammation. Assuming you didn't have any dramatic injury, assuming it's just kind of wear and tear, chances are you got some inflammation in that joint area. So you got to start thinking about anti-inflammation, and that means anti-inflammatory foods or more appropriately, more, more specifically, eliminating pro-inflammatory foods. That's the first thing you want to do when you have any kind of degenerative process. If you want to take a quick, a quick move, an easy move, uh, a not really super dramatic move, but just something that you could do on a regular day-to-day basis, change the foods you eat. That means notice when you have a digestive problem and then eliminate that food. That's always the first step to take. So, the longest journey begins with a single step. The single, first single step that you want to take, no matter what you're dealing with, is you want to notice when you have some kind of digestive disturbance uh, and associate it with a specific food and then eliminate that food. That is step number one. It's not to take a pill. It's not to take a formula. It's not to take a medication. You know, I get letters all the time. What can I take for fibromyalgia? What can I take for my headache? What can I take for my migraines. What can I take? It doesn't work that way. The first thing you want to do is eliminate any digestive disturbances. That means staying away from problem foods. The second thing you want to do is start to patch up the gut. And as it turns out, the nutrients that you take to patch up the gut oftentimes have anti-inflammatory properties. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Uh, if you want to use nutrients for the digestive system and, and anti-inflammation, digestive enzymes are at the top of the list. Using digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes from longevity are a great digestive enzyme formulation. It uh, can help you with your foods, obviously, digestive enzymes, and they also have anti-inflammatory properties. So get on your ultimate enzymes, do three or four after every meal, and maybe do two or three in the middle of the day on an empty stomach. That will get you the anti-inflammatory benefits. The glucogel caps, glucosamine and gl- uh, gl- uh, gelatin, which is made up of amino acids, Acids not only will help your joints, but they'll also help your digestive system. So again, two birds, killing two birds with one stone, multifunctional nutritional supplements, the glucogel caps, and bone soup too, which contains glucosamine in the cartilage, again, will help your digestive system and will also help with any kind of inflammation that you have in your joints. Vitamin C key player in building joint tissue and building connective tissue. Maybe not it's going to have di- direct benefits for the digestive system, but vitamin C is, uh, as Dr. Thomas Levy calls it, the primal panacea, meaning it's pretty much good for everything. And considering it's non-toxic, you probably would be well advised to be using a good dose of vitamin C. You'll get that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And then essential fatty acids are also important for all joint health issues. Essential fatty acids, again, are multifunctional. They use the ultimate EFAs, maybe nine a day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and three at night. Take them with your digestive enzymes and take them with your food. And then last but most certainly not least, making sure that you're on the Mighty 90 is always a, a good strategy. The essential fatty acids are part, of the, are part of the Mighty 90. So is vitamin C, but there's a whole bunch of other nutrients that you need to help build joint tissue as well. So number one, focus on digestive health and wellness. Eliminate problem foods. Number two, use nutritional supplements like the glu- uh, glucogel caps, digestive enzymes. I didn't say the Z-radical, but that can also be helpful for digestion and anti-inflammation Number three, the primal panacea. Make sure you're getting enough vitamin C. Number four, your essential fatty acids. And number five, get on a healthy start pack. Do it today, and you should notice some significant differences. Anything else, Janet? Does that help? I am a member of Longevity. Are you on the healthy start pack? Well, I have some of that. I haven't taken all of it. I do the tangy tangerine more than anything. Well, get on the EFAs. Those are also important. Get on the whole thing. It's not going to help you sitting in your cabinet, Janet. (laughs) It's not sitting in the cabinet. I do try and and do the EFAs from time to time. It's hard. I mean, I just have, you know, I could choke a horse with all the stuff. 
put in your food. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's the active ingredients that are in food. Now, I, I'm not a big believer. I, I shouldn't say that. I wish we didn't have to supplement. I've said this so many times in the program. But you just can't get it from your food. It's not going to happen. And these things are essential, meaning they're like air. You know, Janet, when you say, and I'm not going to pick on you here. I'm talking to everybody, including you. When we say things like, well, I just, you know, I can't seem to take them or I just don't remember to take them. That's like saying, I can't seem to breathe or, or I just don't have time to breathe or I just don't have the money. I can't afford to breathe. You know, we would never say that. That's silly. But nutrition is as essential as oxygen. It's the same idea. So when we say, well, I can't take them or I can't afford them or they're too big or whatever we say, we might, we might as well say, well, I can't afford to breathe. Well, what's going to happen if you can't afford to breathe? You'll be dead. Now, nutrition isn't as uh, the, the, the negative effects of nutrition aren't as dramatic as the negative effects of suffocation, but they're there. And while it may take 68 years for them to show up, they're going to show up. So if you are not supplementing your diet with nutritional supplements, there is flat out no way your body's going to have what it needs to do. Can you survive? Yes. You're going to live fine. You'll probably live a good life, Janet. You're not going to drop dead necessarily, but your knees are going to break down. Your joints are going to break down. You're not going to have the energy that you need to just have the, the vim and vigor and zest for life that is our birthright. And that's why nutritional supplementation is so important. And that's why I do this program, you guys. We cannot... Uh, access our God-given birthright of vim, vigor, vitality, renewal, health, and healing without getting on a good nutritional supplement program, without making sure, absolutely 100% sure that we're on the Mighty 90. Thank you so much, Anna. Got to move on, uh, and we got to take a break as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 855-660-4261 is our number. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get you when we come back from our break, which will be right after this. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs has learned the importance of good fats for good health. Good fats are essential fatty acids, and they're called essential because they're necessary for good health. That's why he uses Ultimate EFAs from Longevity. Among the fats, the most powerful are two fats that are referred to as essential fatty acids. Now, nothing in the world of nutrition is more important than essential fatty fatty acids. The word essential means you better get it in your diet or you're in big trouble. Essential fatty acids are perhaps the most multifunctional and versatile of all the essential nutrients. Essential fatty acids are not just important for the heart. They're important for everything in the body. To get the essential fatty acids that are so important to your body, order Ultimate EFAs from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Order today. So my elementary school age child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and Installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your 
major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866-404-3663. Six six three. Freeze dry guy dot com. The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. G. All right, we are back on the break side. Eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one is our call in number. Diane in Michigan. What's going on? Welcome to the break side. Hi Ben, how are you? I'm doing good. How are great, you? Pro- great program. I listen to it. It, it gains so much knowledge and information. Thank However, you so what much. I'm calling about today is my 15 year old grandson went in for a for surgery this morning on his shoulder for okay. his cup rotator. Okay. Uh, he pulled out in football. Okay. Uh, supposedly they were hoping there was going to be enough cartilage left there that they could um, go ahead and attach it. However, there wasn't. There wasn't the bone attached are you to the serious? cartilage. How much? He must be serious. Play. He's a serious athlete. No, well, he's try You know, he's 15 years old. So yeah, but uh, he just pulled it out. A freak accident, I guess. Well, wow. um, so he has no more cartilage. His, his cartilage is degraded already. Well, evidently, what that they've done good. is they've uh, they've uh, screwed his shoulder, his arm back to his his shoulder here. Okay. Well, and they the put cartilage. screws in it. Yeah, right. and I'm real upset about it because well, uh, there's lots of things you could do to help rebuild cartilage. I'm surprised that for at the age of 15 that shouldn't happen, but well, nonetheless, that's what they there's there's no such thing as rebuilding cartilage. Well, it's difficult, but I wouldn't say there's no such thing as building cartilage. Cartilage doesn't have a lot of blood supply, so it's hard to get nutrients to that area. But the body regenerates itself. Cartilage is always being broken down, and cartilage is always being built up. It's just you don't have the same cartilage that you always had. It's, always being built and broken down. That's the nature of the body. What they're saying is, what they, and I've heard that said many times, I've had doctors tell me that, uh, what they mean is there's not a lot of vascularity, there's not a lot of blood supply, so it's, it's more difficult to nourish the cartilage and drive nutrients in. That having been said, there's tons of articles and literature as well as personal, including me personally, I've experienced my cartilage growing back by using nutrition, and a lot of people have. So here's what you need to do, a couple things. First of all, we've got to keep the inflammation down, the post-surgical inflammation down. And by the way, folks, this is good. What I'm going to tell you now is for all surgical procedures. And while nutrition and nutritional supplementation are always important, there is especially important nutrition and nutritional supplementation is extra, super, especially important pre and post surgery. Listen, pre and post. If you're loading up with nutrition pre surgery, as soon as that surgeon makes a cut in your body, the healing process will begin and you'll have lots of, uh, well, the healing process begins anyway as soon as that cut as soon as the surgeon makes his cut. But if you have lots of nutrients in the body, it will facilitate the healing process and allow it to occur much quicker. So pre and post surgery, number one, you want to keep uh, keep inflammation down. That means staying away from pro-inflammatory foods, as we were saying to our last caller, uh, Janet in Texas, keeping inflammation down by avoiding pro-inflammatory foods. Job number one, if any foods to cause digestive distress, that's a food that's going to cause inflammation and it's going to slow down the healing process. So staying away from any digestive triggers, as I call them. That means foods that cause bowel movement problems, gas, bloating, all of that. If, you're, uh, if your grandson has any digestive Digestive issues, those are going to impair the healing process. Link the digest his digestive symptoms to food, and then eliminate those foods. Secondly, 
Protein, 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 protein. We are protein. Our cartilage is protein. Our body is protein. Protein is the distinguishing feature of biological life. It's what makes a human a human and a bat a bat and a cat a cat and a rat a rat and a bird a bird. Protein is the Brad Pitt of the body. Everything else is super is supporting actors. Protein is the leading man. So for the healing process, you need to have a good quality protein. The best is whey protein by far. Get on the. He should be, especially if he's an athlete. He should be on the one world way. Uh, it wouldn't hurt him to throw in some extra amino acids, maybe glutamine, which is important for the building process.